Hello everybody and welcome to another tiffing video on this channel. We are now at round 5 in the 2022 AFL season. Um, a few interesting matchups this week like there is normally every week. Um, I'm feeling a bit more confident with my tips this week. Let's just look over what I've gotten so far. So in the Cardman 22 AFL tipping comp, I am 339th, got 5 out of 9 last week, um, 21 for the season, don't know why that says out of 1, so I think I was like 450th or something last week, so I've gone up a bit, and I was 600th at one stage, so while 339th is not the optimal position, it is, it could be worse, um, I am improving slightly. And I think with that, it's probably time to get on with the tips. First game, Brisbane versus Collingwood. Brisbane should get the W here. I feel Collingwood obviously had a shocking loss last week to half a waffle team. Um, Brisbane lost to Geelong at Cadenia Park, but that that's not too shocking of a loss. I did tip Brisbane, but um, very hard thing to do to go down to Geelong and beat Geelong. Um, not many teams are capable of doing it. Um, so not any alarm bells ringing for Brisbane right now. They they should respond this week. It could very well be a blowout. I think Collingwood will probably respond and make it at least somewhat close throughout most of the game and go down by 23 points. The first of two Good Friday matches. Um, this one probably should be a comfortable win to the Bulldogs. Uh, North Melbourne, they've looked pretty poor to start off this season. But they did challenge the Swans and almost get a win last week. I still think Bulldogs, despite not being that much higher on the ladder than the Ruse, are a better team. Um, pretty clearly. Uh, last time these two teams played, well, well, last Good Friday, I should say, um, it was a pretty big blowout. Josh Bruce kicked 8, 10, don't know why I said 8. Um, it was a 128 point margin. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Oh, I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind seeing another player kick 10. Um, but it should be at least a little bit closer this time. And my tip is Bulldogs by 46. The next Good Friday match between the West Coast Eagles and Sydney. This should be a comfortable win to Sydney. Uh, maybe not that much. Uh, the Eagles... Coming off a good win over the Magpies. Not many people saw that one coming. Um, Sydney, not a, not so good win against the North Melbourne. But they still did get the win. And they are still on 3-1 and one for the season. Uh, we should beat West Coast pretty comfortably. We, we won't have Buddy. Uh, Papley's still out. Hickey's out. But then, let's just take a look at... Uh, West Coast injury list, shall we? Right down to the bottom, and yeah, that's a there's a, there's a bit of a pretty big difference between the two injury lists, and that really should just tell you all you need about the game. So Sydney by 51. Uh, next up, we've got St Kilda and Gold Coast. I this game could be a pretty close one. Um, I'm going to go... St. Kilda by 14. Matches between these two sides normally are pretty close. They have been close for the past three or four years. So there was a period where... like There was like five games in a row were decided by four points. St. Kilda won all of them by four points. And then last year they won by like... Nine points over the Suns. Um, 
I rate the Saints more than the Suns, obviously. But the Suns, normally they they play well in the first five to seven rounds of a season, and they could potentially cause a boil over upset. But tipping safe here, Saint Kilda for the win. Um, and Gold Coast won't look won't look too awful in this loss. Um, next up, this is probably a bit of a harder one to tip, because, I mean, Richmond had a great win last week over the Bulldogs. Um, they dispatched of the inaccurate kicking side by 38 points, made the most of their opportunities when the Bulldogs didn't. But they've been pretty inconsistent to start off this season, and Adelaide, are, they are looking okay. They only just went down to the Bombers last week. And the week before that, they got an after-the-siren win. So, Tex Walker is back now. He kicked four last week. Rochelle looks brilliant in his first season. Already ten goals in four rounds of footy. Um, Crows, I'm going to tip them for a bit of an upset here. I'm going to go Crows by 13 at the Adelaide Oval. Richmond are an inconsistent side. There goes toilet in the background, um, whatever. So yeah, Adelaide by 13 points is going to be my upset of the round tip. There's always usually one or two upsets, and I think this could be the one that happens. On to a game where I don't really see an upset happening. Um, Melbourne by 44. Don't really rate GWS right now. Just lost to the Frio Dockers. Um, their one win has come against the Suns, who really didn't show up that game. That was probably the one Suns game so far where they just didn't show up at all. Uh, Melbourne, 4-0. Good win over Port Adelaide. Very not entertaining game. Pretty low scoring. Port didn't score a goal for two and a half quarters, it was pretty dismal, but they got the win pretty comfortably in the end. 32 points, they should get another win this weekend against the Giants. Now for Carlton versus Port Adelaide, and who would have thought Port Adelaide, bottom of the ladder, 0-4. Uh, no one really saw this coming at the start of the season. And, yeah, they're, just, they're not in a good way at all right now. They, they, they've probably looked, they've easily looked one of the worst teams in the competition. As seen by the fact they're on the bottom of the ladder. So, Carlton, in theory, probably should get a comfortable win here. But I think Port can make this one close. I'll go Carlton by 18. Um, they've, they've got to win eventually. I think it'll probably come... Next week for Port, they've got the Eagles at Adelaide Oval. They should win that, really. Um, if they don't win that one next week and they lose this game, then they are in for a very long season. Essendon versus Fremantle at Marvel Stadium. Normally, this is a good game between these two teams. Especially at Marvel Stadium. Essendon got their last win of the season. Uh, first win of the season last week, I should say. Frio, somehow third on the ladder right now. Probably the most unconvincing third placed team I've ever seen. Really. Uh, this is a bit of, this is a 50-50 game, this one. Um, I'm th before this, I was going into it thinking tipping Essendon was probably the way to go, but I don't know now. Um, I might... I'll go with Essendon for now, maybe change it later in the week, but normally when I change tips later in the week, it never goes well. So I think if I tip them now, I've probably just got to stick with them. Um, I already... Earlier in the year, the Richmond vs GWS game, I tipped Richmond in the tipping video. 
changed them to GWS when I saw some of the outs which one had, and they absolutely pumped them. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'll tip S and then I'll probably live to regret this one. Um, in a thrilling game, Essendon will win by five points. Um, final game in the round this one, Easter Monday, and normally these games are pretty close, the Easter Monday clashes. Um, back in 2017 or 2018 was the last not close Easter Monday game I can remember. Um, I, I can't really see this one being close, honestly. I don't rate the Hawks at all. Their two wins came against North Melbourne and Port, and we know how bad those teams are going right now. And they just got pumped by a St Kilda. They lose, they've lost like the disposal count in every game so far, apart from maybe the North game. I'm not really sure on that one, but the against Port, they got. They lost it by 73 and yet still won by 10 goals. That just shows how bad Port are. Um, Carlton, they lost it by like 30. Saints, they lost the disposal count by like 80. Um, they, well, I mean, really, when you look at like, when you go onto the match days, uh, match centres on the AFL website and go onto the team stats, you'll see that they, they lose most stats even when they win this year. Um, but against the good sides, they're going to get pumped, really. Um, St Kilda did that last week. Um, they had four players kick four goals. Um, and, well, it's going to be, I think it could very well be goal kicking practice for the Cats on Monday. Uh, Jeremy Cameron could be due for another big game. Hawkins just came off five goals. Could kick another five goals. Um, who knows? Maybe Hawthorne pull something out of the box and make a crazy upset. But this this one could get ugly, um, really. Uh, yeah, I'm tipping Geelong by 81, and that is the round five tips done. Let's just look at a uh, where every team will be on the ladder if I get all the tips right, which I highly likely won't. Um, Melbourne is still on top, still undefeated, 5-0. Brisbane still second, Geelong, St Kilda in the top four. Fremantle will slide down to about seventh, which is probably where I rate them right now. Um, third spot seems way too high for them. Uh, Collingwood back in the eight. No, they're still in the eight, hmm. despite being three and two and three. Bit of a strange style for Collingwood. Um, Gold Coast still sniffing, uh, knocking on the door of the eight. Richmond Bulldogs jump up a little bit. Adelaide around 12th. Hawthorne still 13th, which I... Maybe it's just a bit of hate bias, but I really don't rate Hawthorne at all. Um, Essendon still pretty low down. West Coast, North Melbourne and Port still without a win. After round five. Um, yeah, that'll be all for this week's tipping video. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, let's see if I get these all right. I activated a joke around in a Riles Macca's tipping competition, which will mean that I get double points this round. Um, what? Give me a second. So yeah, uh, if I get, let's say if I get 7 this round, I will get, actually get 14 for the round. So hopefully I can boost my score in this round, first joke around I've activated. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.